Hi, welcome back to another video. Hip pain is a general term for pain felt in or around the hip joint. It isn't always felt in the hip itself, but may instead be felt in the groin or thigh. There are many possible causes of hip pain, ranging from muscle strain and injuries to arthritis and inflammatory disorders. However, gently exercising the hips can often help to relieve pain and restore mobility. In this video, I'm demonstrating to you the 12 best corrective exercises to relieve hip and lower back pain. And if you like this video, please click the like button, please leave your comments below and share this video. Hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of my future weekly video release. Please also subscribe to this channel. This is completely free of charge, but would help the channel to grow. Thank you. Whatever the cause of your hip predicaments, flexibility and strength exercises are key to relieving hip pain. Although these exercises may result in temporary discomfort, they should not cause or aggravate pain. So, we first stretch the muscles around the hip joint, which can help to reduce stiffness and improve joint mobility. Before you start to stretch, warm your muscles up with some light cardio for 10 to 15 minutes. The longer you can devote to stretching, the better you will feel and you should perform the stretches every day if you can. If your hips start to hurt at any point, don't push it. Stop what you are doing and see a healthcare provider for further evaluation. To stretch your hip flexors, get into a lunge position on the ground. To do this, put your left knee on the ground, your right leg bent out in front of you at 90 degree with your right foot flat on the floor. With your hands on the hip, shift your pelvis forward slightly until you feel a stretch in your hip flexors region. Pause where you feel the tension and hold. Going further into the stretch as it becomes looser. Then repeat the same stretch on the other side. Remember to keep your torso upright rather than leaning forward as demonstrated. To stretch your inner thighs, sit on the ground, bend your knees in front of you and bring your soles of your feet together so they touch. Letting your knees fall out to the sides, bring your heels as close to your body as you can and lean forward into the stretch, using your elbows to gently push your knees towards the ground. To stretch your abductors and piriformis, start on all fours, then bring your right knee forward, placing it behind your right wrist with your ankle near your left hip. Straighten your left leg behind you and let your upper body fold over your right leg. As you breathe, sink deeper into the stretch. Now repeat the same stretch on the other side. To stretch your glute and piriformis, lay on your back with your legs bent and feet flat on the ground. Place your right ankle on your left knee, loop your hand around the back of your left leg and draw it towards your chest. Feel the stretch in your glute and hip. Hold the stretch for 20 seconds and repeat the same stretch on the other side. For the deep squat, stand with your feet shoulder width apart. Then bend your knees and drop your butt directly down to the ground. Bring your arms in front of you in a prayer position. Allowing your elbows to gently press your thighs further apart and breathe throughout the movement. To perform the side to side leg swing, brace yourself by placing your hands on a wall, step back and then begin to swing your legs like a pendulum from side to side. Try to minimize twisting your torso. And then now repeating the same exercise on the other side. Now turn your torso so that you are perpendicular to the wall. Brace yourself and then begin to swing your legs back and forth, allowing a stretch in your hip flexors, hamstrings and glutes. And now repeat the same on the other side. From here, circle your leg in a clockwise direction for five times. And then anti-clockwise for five times.
and then repeat the same rotation on the other side. To stretch your glutes, lie flat on the floor, bend your knees and bring them towards your body until the feet are flat on the floor. Now use your hands to pull both knees in towards your chest. Breathe deeply, pulling the knees closer to the shoulders with each exhalation. As far as it is comfortable, then hold the position for 20 to 30 seconds and breathe normally. The aim of these exercises is to strengthen the hip muscles to better support the hip joint, which can help to relieve pain. Choose 3 to 4 of these exercises for one workout, completing 3 sets of 10 to 12 repetitions each time. Mix and mesh from session to session if possible. Let's start with a lateral squat. Start with your feet wide apart, toes slightly turned out. Shift your weight to your right leg and push your hips back as if you are going to sit in a chair. Drop as low as you can go while keeping your left leg straight. Ensure that your chest stays up and your weight is on your right heel. Hold the bottom momentarily before slowly returning to start. Then repeat the same steps on the other leg. And that is one repetition. Aim to perform three sets of 10 to 12 repetitions. For the side lying leg raises, start on your right side with your legs straight and stack on top of each other. Propping yourself up with your elbow. Keeping your hips stacked, engage your core and lift your left leg straight up as far as you can. With control, slowly lower back down, perform 10 to 12 repetitions and then repeat on the other side. That is one set, aim to perform three sets. And if you think this is too easy, you can use an exercise band and position it just above your knees. Start on all fours with your hands directly below your shoulders and knees directly below your hips. Keeping your left leg bent, raise it directly out to the side until your thigh is parallel to the floor, like a dog at a fire hydrant. Ensure your neck and back are straight and your core stays engaged throughout this move. Slowly lower back down and repeat on the other side. And that is one repetition. Try to perform 10 to 12 repetitions for 3 sets. For the banded walk, grab an exercise band and place it around your ankles or just above your knees. Bend your knees slightly and side shovel, feeling your hips abductors working with each step. Make sure to keep your feet pointing straight ahead while stepping to the side. After 10 to 12 steps in one direction, stop and go the other way. The single leg loop bridge is a more advanced move. Raising your left leg up during a bridge will wake up your right glutes and at the same time allowing you to really feel a stretch of your left glutes. Start on your back with your knees bent and feet on the floor as if you are doing a regular glute bridge. Extend your left leg up before pushing yourself off the ground by squeezing your right glutes. Do this for 10 to 12 repetitions before repeating on the other side. And this is one set and aim to perform three sets. Also known as the glute kickback, the donkey kick helps to strengthen the hips by isolating this movement. To perform this, get onto all fours. Keeping your right knee bent, lift your left foot up towards the sky. Keep your foot flat during the entire movement. Engage your glutes. Push your foot up towards the ceiling as high as you can without tilting your pelvis for maximum impact. Perform 10 to 12 repetitions before repeating on the other side. That is one set and aim to perform three sets. Gently stretching and exercising the hips can help to strengthen your pelvic muscles, relieve pain and increase mobility. There are many exercises to choose from, but you can experiment to find which one is the best for you and then incorporate these exercises into your daily exercise routine. And remember, if your pain persists or worsens, please consult your healthcare provider. Thank you for watching until the end. If you like this video, please click the like button. Please leave your comments below and share this video. Hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of my future weekly video release. Please also subscribe to this channel. This is free of charge but will help the channel to grow. 
If you're interested in improving your health and fitness or losing weight, if you suffer from or wish to prevent back pain, please take a look at my book, which is now available from Amazon Worldwide. Thank you.